it's been a long day and all i've got to say i'm sorry make it strong so am i it's been a long day and all i've got to say is i've been wrong so technically so you're like way better at this than i am you want a job tending bar I can't. I'm only 18. Ooh. Have fun. If it helps, I have no idea what I'm doing in there either. It's been a long week. And all the lights come down heavy on me. It's been a long week. Come on, let me get you guys home. Look what I found. Quentin Fields' wallet. Oh my God. I killed Quentin. Oh. It's been a long day. And I just want to hide it away. Hey. Hey, Daddy. How was it? What's it like? When can we see you play? Slow down, buddy. First, tell me how your day was. Yeah, Jamie, how was your day? No, you first, Daddy. Is this dream come true? Yes, it is, son. It's been a long year. Hey, you're home. How did it go? Long story. How are you? We're good. And all this mess around me. Yes, we are. Hey, baby. Daddy's home. First, you didn't think twice to look behind. I got such a good feeling just from playing in the dirt. Once when I was little, we could build a rocket, fly to the moon. Hey, can I talk to you? Yeah. Oh, is everything okay? Come here. What's up? I can't accept this ring. I mean, it's beautiful and I love it. I just, it's not the ring that I want to wear. I always dreamed I'd be wearing Keith's ring, and I know how much it means to you. So that's the ring I want to wear for the rest of my life. There was a time when I trusted everyone. You sure? There was no place I would not go. Steady. This isn't a game, Julia. 
I know. When I first got here, everyone thought I came for a girl. The girl in the book. But I only came here to make a movie. But now it turns out everyone was right. I am here for the girl in the book. The other girl. Maybe we should continue this in my bedroom. Preferably without our clothes. <laughs> you son of a bitch! What do you want, Reese? I just want to come by and give you the good news myself. I'm directing the movie. I signed on tonight. You and I are gonna have some fun. Oh, I've got a couple thoughts about that last scene. Don't worry about it, we'll talk tomorrow. Partner. This house is starting to grow on me. Oh, it's been a great anniversary. But you did all this for me. Mm. I didn't give you anything. That is not exactly true. You've given me an amazing life so far. Who knows? Maybe someday when my body's completely wrecked and your singing days are over, we can come back here and grow all together. What do you say? George Bailey, I love you, darling. Day I die. gotten pretty presentable. Yeah, okay, right, yeah, I'll be right there. Who's that? This is the production office. Apparently one of the locations fell through. I gotta go down and figure it out. Tonight? Do you want me to go with you? No, it'll probably take a while. Okay. Well, come over when you're done. We can still have dessert. I'll probably just crash at the hotel. But I'll see you tomorrow. You look beautiful, Brooke. Oh, 
Whoa. Someone's a little rusty. Yeah. It's like this. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about the movie, man. Haley told you, huh? She told you she got fired? I thought she was just suspended. That was until this morning. I don't know, man. I leave town and everything goes to hell. Haley gets fired, movie falls apart. Dan's hard. Yeah, my, uh, my mom called me, told me there's a problem. What's up? Oh, he didn't tell you? No. <laughs> Dog ate. What? I'm serious. The dog ate his heart. You're kidding me. Right. I'm standing right there. And this, this stoner guy's dog trips the paramedic and gobbles up his heart. You're serious? I'm not joking. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Yeah. So I guess this means she's going to die. Sam. You are not unfixable. Okay? Come here. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm really sorry. But I found you something to show you how sorry I am. Hey! No boys in your bedroom. Hey. Hey. Well, close the door, you idiot. You live in a barn or something? You're the idiot.